Alright first graders, today we are going to be working on nouns and verbs and we are going to be working to write a complete sentence, which is something you definitely started in kindergarten, but something we want to remember since we've been out of school for a little while. So our objective is I can write a complete sentence. Your DOL, the way you're going to prove it, is given picture cards, I can speak and write a complete sentence. So we're going to talk about nouns and verbs, and then I'm going to give you picture cards, and your job is to write a complete sentence using those picture cards. Now we've been working on being good communicators in our classrooms. Communicators share their ideas. Communicate, communicate, I like to communicate. Listen, speak, and read, and write another language too. Communicate, communicate, ideas from me to you. Now, in that chant, we realize that communication skills are not just speaking. They can be reading and writing and speaking and listening and communicating with your body. So today we're going to really focus on communicating by writing and speaking. Our central idea is what we're learning all about. We share our experiences through storytelling to build understanding. Now we can't build a story and tell a story if we're not speaking in complete sentences. It won't make any sense. So we're going to start simple with complete sentences today. So we're going to continue talking about the key concept of form. Form, form, what is it like? What is a complete sentence like? Today we're going to talk about what pieces are in our complete sentences. There are two things that are always in a complete sentence, a noun, and a verb. So let's look at what a noun and a verb is. A noun is a person, place, or a thing. So I say a noun is a person, as us, right? A place, kind of like a setting, right? Or a thing. I put this hand out so I'm pretending like I'm holding a thing, like a dog or a cat, or it could be a door, it could be a pencil, right? So a noun is a thing. If you can see it and touch it, it's probably a noun. A person, place, or thing. Do that with me. A person, place, or thing. So, I'm wondering, I want you to do the gestures. If I name a person, I want you to do this. If I name a place, I want you to show me this. And if I name a thing, I want you to do this. Okay, I'm going to tell you some nouns. A doctor. That's right, it's a person. Um, a toolbox. It's a thing. Good. McDonald's. That's a place. Good. All of those are nouns because a noun is a person, place, or a thing. Your sentence must have a person, place, or a thing. Now, the other piece that a sentence must have is the verb. A verb is something you can do. As you can see on this poster, you can run. That's a verb. Eat is a verb. Swim is a verb. It's what the noun is doing in the sentence. So, I'm going to name some verbs, action verbs, things that you can do. And I want you to act it out for me, okay? So, I'm pushing your chair. Stand up. You're going to act out this verb. Are you ready? Swim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you swimming over there? Are you swimming? All right. The next verb we have is dance. If you can do it, it's a verb, right? If you can do it, it's a verb. Last one, sleep. It's a verb. <laughs> Verbs are something you can do. So I like to put our hands in here like a V for verb. An action is something you can do. So a verb is something you can do. All right, so we've got our noun and our verb, our who and our what. Who is are we talking about and what are they doing? All right, now I have on the next slide some songs from about nouns and songs about verbs. You can play them once or you can play them twice and sing along because you're going to get to hear those a few times this week. 